Hi, I'm John McQuist, and as you get into serious cinematography, O'Connor has some accessories that aim to get your gear able to perform with the precision you need for professional filmmaking results. We have four kits, and they're meant to complement each other, so you'll see me use some of them together. Here they are. The O-Rig Pro Kit, the O-Focus Dual Mini Photo Set, the CFF1 Cine Follow Focus Pro Kit, and the O-Box WM Matte Box Deluxe Set. I'll show you the kits and what they include. They have a lot of assembly required. We'll look at what goes into putting them together. We'll look at the build quality. And finally, we'll look at how well they work. You can buy many of the parts of these kits individually, but O'Connor made the kits as what they call socket sets that you can configure for pretty much any camera and lens combination. I'll start with O'Connor's O-Rig Pro Kit. This is a 15 millimeter lightweight rod support system for cameras and lenses. It has two sets of rods, one 12 inches, the other 18 inches long. The longer set is for the camera setup. The other is for the shoulder support when you need to shoot handheld. That has a shoulder pad, counterweights, and an adjustable offset bracket you can use to attach it to the other set of rods. The kit also includes two height adapters. You'll notice all the different holes in it. That's to maximize its compatibility. They want it to work with almost any kind of camera. Even in the same rig, you get options. Look at the shoulder pad more closely. It has two sets of holes you can use for the rods, depending on whether you want the pad to sit on top of your shoulder as a traditional shoulder pad, as a chest brace to stabilize your rig, or at the end of the rods to sit on the back of your shoulder. Things like this and the two counterweights demonstrate how O'Connor designed this kit for a lot of flexibility and makes it super useful. It has a universal base plate. It's camera agnostic, so it will work with rigs from a DSLR like we have here to a cinema camera and their lenses. Its tripod plate has both 3 8 16 and quarter 20 screws. And the kit has two O-grips, O'Connor's adjustable hand grips. Now, let me show you the O-Focus Dual Mini Photo Set. This is a follow focus system with a hard stop hand wheel, but can also use a cine hand wheel. Again, you see that flexibility and adaptability that O'Connor goes for. You can use hand wheels on either side or both sides if you have another hand wheel, either from another kit or one you bought separately. The hand wheel has a one-to-one -one transmission ratio. This maintains the Dual Mini's 270 degree output for every full turn of the wheel based on the gear drive ratio of one to 0 0.75. Similar with the interchangeable gears, it comes with driver gears with different numbers and sizes of teeth to fit various Cine and ENG lenses. It also includes a gear friction driver that will work with lenses that don't have a gear, like still photo lenses. It has a 15 millimeter lightweight rod support system bridge and can work with 15 or 19 millimeter studio rod systems, which you can buy separately. For a complete follow focus unit, we have the O'Connor CFF1 Cine Follow Focus Pro Kit. This one eliminates juggling separate bridge plates. It attaches to either 15 or 19 millimeter studio rod systems with a 15 millimeter lightweight support rod bridge. The unit is reversible, so you can mount it on either side of the lens, and the main bridge slides independent of the support bridge to adjust for the diameter of your lens. The kit includes a focus whip, speed crank, and crank wheel. You can daisy chain them for more compatibility with the gear you have and with how you shoot. This one also includes gears of different sizes, as well as the gear friction driver. Finally, we have the O'Connor O-Box WM Matte Box Deluxe Set. This will accommodate lenses as wide as 18 millimeters designed for full-size sensors. It has two filter stages, and the rear one rotates 360 degrees if you use polarizers or graduated filters. It comes with four trays to make it easier to switch among filters. It also has a bellows ring that lets you mount a 138 millimeter filter. It comes with flags for both the top and both sides. The matte box also comes with a 15 millimeter lightweight support bracket, and you can also get brackets for 15 or 19 millimeter studio rods. Plus, adapter rings will let you use this as a clip-on matte box. The O-Box system has mounting holes in the matte box itself that let you attach O-grips if you have them. It also includes two universal lens donuts with a fabric-like material that stretches over a range of lenses and prevents light leaking in from behind the lens. So, how easy is it to put all this stuff together and use on your gear? The flexibility that O'Connor designed for its kits so that you can adapt them to the equipment you have, and in some cases your personal preference, means that they come in a lot of separate parts that you have to assemble. As long as you know what each part does and how it works, you should not have a lot of trouble putting the pieces together. And with a little experimentation, you'll probably discover different configurations that will come in handy the next time you shoot. 
On some parts, you do have to be careful to look to see what the built-in tightening screws actually lock down. The base plate in the O-Rig kit, for example, has one that only loosens or tightens the adjustment for the base plate setting up or down. On the matte box, you need to make sure you tighten the screws that hold the filters in place or they can fall through their slots. With so many parts and points of attachment, it's important that they're all sturdy and well-made, yet you don't want them so heavy that you can't really use it on your shoulder realistically. As it is, the O-Rig by itself weighs about 11 and a half pounds, though you often won't use all of its parts at one time. But the main parts are metal, and as much as I can tell in the short time I had the gear for a review, they all seem well-made. As far as how well it all works, once I got it assembled, it worked like I'd want it to. It gave me a reliable support for all the accessories, both when I worked off the shoulder and on a tripod. Both follow focus units were easy to use, and the whip made it easy to include a second person to pull focus and not have to stand so close to the camera. The flexibility to put the equipment together in different ways, for instance, having the hand wheel on the follow focus go on either side of it, gives you a lot of options to customize your rig the way it will work best for you. The matte box does not offer the option to swing away, which would let you change lenses without removing the matte box. One thing I did not mention that people will really like is that except for the matte box, each kit comes in a customized waterproof Pelican case. All told, the compatibility with so many cameras and lenses and that ability to use parts interchangeably among kits will make these O'Connor accessories a really popular option among cinematographers of all kinds. For b and and Kelby One, I'm John McQuiston. Thank you for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.